What's good, everybody? It's your boy D Brown, aka Bruce Deroy. I'm an artist, producer, photographer, and videographer. Here, I'm going to teach you a few things like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, FL Studios, and much, much more. So, click the link in the description or check out my website. But I love all women because when I'm in your city, I'm going to take one home just to baby me. Then I'm going to make a paparazzi make plays for me. Just to have a whole world so amazed at me. All right, so. Before we start, so right now I have one of my models up here. Her name is Ariel. And we're not really going to do anything here today. I'm just going to kind of go over some things that you may need to know, but it's not that much of a huge big deal, but it's just a little education. So first thing first, man. Let's go ahead and get it. So right now um, I've selected file. You'll use this, but you know, just like anything, you'll you have file under, you have new, open, import. You can just bring in pictures from here and save pictures. So you're gonna bring in pictures from here by hitting open, or you can browse and bridge. That will open up your files in your computer, and you can you'll be able to open up some uh, pictures that way that you have taken wherever you saved them on your computer. Um, but you won't really need to know much more about this. It's just really when you get started and when you're about to get finished. Me personally, I use the bridge a lot. Secondly, um, this is the edit tab. So the thing about the edit tab, man, once again, you're not gonna use a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, maybe the undo button a lot, you'll use that. The step forward and step backward, you're gonna use those too. Other than that, you might not use anything else here. <laughs> If we're just going to be honest, man, you might not use nothing else from this section, but it's not, it's nice to know uh, certain things right in here. The image tab, you're going to be using that if you choose to. I pretty much only resize uh, pictures. Um, other than that, maybe auto contrast, auto tone when I first started. Sometimes I still use it. Um, I might go also go into the adjustments. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in there that we won't go over. But, you know, this is just where you change the picture up. Here you have layer. Um, with layer, you may not be using this tab really at all. So I won't even go into it. Uh, type, you may not even be using that at all. I've, I don't even know if I've ever touched type personally. Select, once again, I've never used anything in here, maybe other than refine mask. And I don't even remember why. Filter, I do come here. So last filter at the top is very important because it's the last thing you did in this tab um you'll see a lot of these other things like liquify oil paint blur um, i use blur a lot and you'll see that in the future tutorials other than blur you really don't see me using anything else like a whole lot um i might go in other where it says high pass but once again we're gonna go over that another time view and window i've never used view before so i won't go into it uh window is just up to you on how you want a certain things formatted everything with a check mark is everything that's on your screen so if you open up photoshop go to window and if you're missing a few things that you're looking for or if you saw some windows in the past that's no longer there then you would just come here and find it so basically as you can see we're here there's a layers tab over to the right and you can see it's check marks. So if you actually click it, then it'll go away. So it's just a little example for y'all. And you click it again, it'll come back. So if you're ever missing anything, if you ever accidentally clear out something or X something out, don't worry. It'll be okay. All right, man. So right now we're going to go over these few little tabs. Uh, the first one is the move tool. The move tool is just something you can move pictures from one window to another. Or you can just, you just pretty much move pictures. Uh, if you have two or three pictures up at Photoshop at the same time, you can move it from that picture to another one, or just kind of, maybe you want to move a letter up and down on the picture that you got if you wanted to put your name or, or whatever. So just moving stuff. Rectangular marquee tool, never used it, so it doesn't matter, but it'll put a rectangular shape and you'll select it and do whatever you want with it. Next is the lasso tool. I use the lasso tool, um, quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I use it quite a lot, actually. Lasso tool and quick selection, I use a whole lot. We'll get into that later, but all those is is just selecting certain things. Maybe you want to 
draw somebody's eyes with the lasso tool. The quick selection kind of just you click something and it's going to select the region based on really color in a lot of cases. So say you only want to select um, Ariel's body and not the background. You can do that. Maybe you want to change the background. So you select her body and you just delete the background out. Once again, we'll go over that another time. I won't use these things. We all know what crop is, so I won't go over that. Eyedropper tool, keep your eyes from going red. Spot healing brush is something that you're going to be using quite a bit. It takes away acne, birthmarks, small pieces of hair, other things like that, maybe wrinkles. And it's really, really helpful. The brush tool, you'll be using that. It's kind of like you're painting with a brush. Clone stamp tool. The best way to explain this is that I can really clone anything from anywhere. So if there's a fire hydrant in one spot, then I can select that fire hydrant and clone it and put it anywhere else. Or if I want to make the background more pink on one side, maybe my lighting was bad and the left side is lighter than the dark side. We'll see that in the future or if you've ever taken pictures. So maybe you'll select the lighter side and clone it to the darker side so everything is light. Just made something up. If you didn't follow, it does not matter. <laughs> All right. So if we keep going, history brush tool, I actually don't know what that does. Eraser tool. Now, the eraser tool um, is plain and simple. It erases anything you've done. Maybe you blurred somebody's face and you only want to erase a certain part. Maybe you painted over something. You want to erase the paint. Um, just, it just It's kind of like an undo button with the eraser. We all know what a paint bucket tool is. I won't go over that. If you do need it, then if you select something, like if let's say you have the color black selected and you use the paint bucket tool, whatever you select, whatever color that is, is going to change it to the black. Blur tool, I've never used it. Dodge tool, I don't like it. <laughs> dodge tool. All right, so dodge tool and burn tool, they're very popular when it comes to people wanting to lighten people's skin and darken people's skin. You have to be very careful when you use these and there's a certain way to do so because it can it can actually damage your picture. So I don't use them personally. So that's why I won't go too much further into the dodge tool or the burn tool. Pen tool. Just drawing dots. Very much like the lasso tool where you're drawing, except with the pen tool, you're actually clicking. So you click. Click, 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 click. So you keep clicking until you draw around my hand. The lasso tool, you hold it down and you just draw. So if you make a mistake, you have to start over. Uh, the pen tool, not so much. The pen tool may take a little longer, but it's more accurate. We have the type tool that's for text, you put words, path selection, never use that. Rectangular tool, never use that. And a lot of these I've never used is because they're so basic. It, I just There was just no purpose in me touching them. Like the rectangular tool, that second icon that I went over on the left side. What do you need that for? So it's not really like a big deal for me, but maybe somebody else in your line of work, you know, you might, you might need that. But other than that, man... Um, we have the zoom tool. I use that a lot. Zoom in and out, you know, so you can see better. And I won't go over the icons below the black and the white color because I don't use those. Over on the right, we have a bunch of different icons like at the bottom. We won't go over that today because that dives deeper into Photoshop, into layers. And if I started doing that, then you might get confused. So basically, just wanted to give you all a little heads up, a little fast, quick tutorial on Adobe Photoshop. Hopefully y'all can dig it and follow me along in this nice little path that we're going through so once again my name is d brown artist producer videographer photographer and hopefully y'all learned a little bit hopefully y'all tune in for the tutorials and you know hopefully y'all learn something deuces boy you so dope uh, better than a drink in my coat uh, more like the tree in my smoke Damn. if you want to rock this boat then we can ride you out so dope. i'ma get you in the ozone uh. then we can be alone Damn. go ahead and kill your phone so we can ride you out so dope.
y'all make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Because some funny, some fire stuff is on the way.